we aren't nice boys. We were f***ing nasty little bastards. And we still are. Sid Vicious is about as close as rock and roll is going to come to Huckleberry Finn in this decade. His voice has a tone of goofy absurdity. Hey, want one of these? Something like Ringo Starr's, though he'd hate that analogy. Who else wants something? Come on if you want something, you His teeth appear not to have been brushed in several years. His hair is about two inches long and sticks straight out at odd angles. Several bright red scars highlight his solar plexus. What I did was catch in on the fact that I'm, I'm good looking and I have a good figure and girls like me. Well, they want a f***ing angel in flares and an anorak, because if they want that, then that ain't me, baby. This summer, the Pistols have been careening in overexposure in their homeland. The four major music weeklies have mentioned them on the cover of almost every issue for months. Taking punk lyrics at their literal word, the dailies regularly proclaim the movement as the end of Western civilization. What, when he stood up and started singing for the first time, what happened? Oh, John God. It was wonderful. No, People loved me. <laughs> they threw flowers. What do you think about bands like the Stones? I don't. <laughs> I don't even consider them a band. They're more like a business. Do you think they're relevant to the kids 16, 17? Of course they're not. Relevant to their mums and dads, but that's about all. What about bands like Rod Stewart? What about him? Mums and dads. He's yeah. all round, isn't he? All round entertainment. He's an old The Sex Pistols shows not the politics of boredom, but the politics of division amputate the wanking 60s liberals from their working class support. The kids needed a sense of adventure and rock and roll needs to find a way to give it to them, says Malcolm McLaren, the manager of the Sex Pistols. It didn't take much to set something up opposite everything the industry had recognized as good, which meant all this incredible corporate thinking, all this legacy, of pop music was suddenly having a huge stake driven through its heart by the Sex Pistols, and they had legions of followers wanting more. See, this group was put together not because they were friends. They didn't really genuinely have anything in common other than the fact that they hated everything else.